of being insufficiently appreciated is a common childhood lament. Make it to the pub! Go to the coast, we get together, have a few laughs. Welcome back, AXC Mafia. Woo, it's Friday. Yeah. Hope you all are having a great Friday night, or had a great Friday night, if you're watching this whatever day you're watching Time this. is subjective with this podcast. <laughs> yeah. That's why we've broken it up, to, to free up more time for you guys to just do what you enjoy doing, and then just let us fill in that, that extra time you have. You can go back to masturbating after this segment's over. Yeah, right. Mm, yeah, you're ready to go. Go. Wash your hands. Always, always it's wash your hands. Part, you should you should have been doing that prior to COVID, but before and after. Yes. For at least last year, you should have been washing your hands. I'll say that much. <laughs> get that. You should have been washing your hands your whole life, you dirty <laughs> fuck. Get that old lotion off. Get some new lotion on there. You know, you don't want the old lotion. So. <laughs> Swap lotion. <laughs> Clean your phone or whatever you're using oh, as a media. Shit. But again, we're gonna go down a rabbit hole as usual. <laughs> <laughs> so normally on a Friday, we'd be talking about football. That's why I'm in this seat, but. As football has kind of come to an end, we wanted to spice things up during the off season. I know we talked a little bit about what was going on last week, but we are going to dedicate a whole different show coming up here on the debacle of what's going on with Russell Wilson and the Seahawks and some other news in football. But that will be coming up in the next couple weeks. But what we're going to do during this off season to fill up space is we're going to do a little something that's called. The fast food franchise wars. As you see all this garbage food in front of us, we are going to take week by week, we're going to put every franchise up against each other in a head to head tournament to see who will be the top six to go at it for, to see who will be the final. Like a, like a regular season with a f tournament and, you know, the. It's like the Bracket. king of it's like the king of the ring of food. Yes, oh, yeah. of fast food. Go. March Madness. Mm -hmm. Tournaments so, out. I can't sure. wait. We're yeah, gonna I travel like from corner to corner of the town and find these spots. We've scoured high and low, and near and far, and three mile radius. This is the perfect <laughs> segment if you're still high from the powwow yes, earlier exactly. in the week. We're, exactly. <laughs> right. We're not gonna call it Flavor Town like that other guy. We're gonna call it Value Trademark. Town. Trademark. Yes, Value Town. 5F. I think Value or Town no. is also trademarked. That might be a shop. Uh, it might be a grocery store chain in the South. I'm not 100 percent sure. Yeah, they're kind of out of the way, you know. We'll, we'll deal with that Nobody road when from we the get South to watches it. this podcast. Right. So we're gonna call this Friday fast food fights, the Quad F. Oh shit! Friday fast food fights. Yes. Nice. So that's gonna uh, be an awesome hashtag right there. Hashtag hashtag yeah. hashtag hashtag hashtag. <laughs> hashtag. <laughs> <laughs> and when you get eliminated, you're off. So, so the we preliminary need, we need the iron sheet to do that drop. Oh, I will fucking bullshit! <laughs> I will humble you and I'll fuck you in the ass and, and make you humble and break your fucking back <laughs> like Jebroni Hulk Hogan. We need that guy to do one of our uh, cameo cameos. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Yeah, bro. That's how sure. totally put it. And Terry Funk needs to do one before he. Stop sending yeah. Terry Funk shit. He's old and tired. He doesn't want to be bothered. Leave yeah. him alone. Yeah. He doesn't want to do autographs. Leave uh, Terry Funk alone. You know He's who does? Enough. New Jack. New Jack will do a lot of shit for five bucks. Yeah. Man. <laughs> Give your money to New Jack and the Sandman. So you can get a, a new taser and not one of those cheap knives from 
the corner store. I'm pretty sure. I'm down. pretty sure there's some legal <laughs> some legal restrictions on what weapons New Jack can acquire. He has a crossbow, <laughs> which I'm pretty sure is illegal in most states. I don't know, man. Yeah. Well, it's illegal to hunt with him. I'm I don't sure think it's, it's illegal the most to legal thing that New Jack can carry on his person. <laughs> right. No, all of those those were justifiable homicides. Yeah, just, he was a bounty hunter. It wasn't justifiable to to stab that guy thirty seven times in the neck, but he wasn't selling, so yeah, it's it on wasn't thirty seven times. It was twelve times. It wasn't in the neck. It was in the back and the shoulder. I watched oh. the video. Anyway, I'm just eating? hyping it up so people would watch it. But yeah, if you want to go scientific, uh, so the preliminary <laughs> rounds will be you know head to head French fries, burger, chicken sandwich, which is the huge thing last year, which kind of got my wheels rolling. Shakes and chicken nuggets. Uh, most you can get 15 points per round, so five on taste, five on value, five on presentation, which really doesn't matter with French fries, but hey, yeah, five points is five points when it comes down to, and like I said, when we get through with the preliminary rounds, we will go with the top six and have a tournament of their full menus, secret items, all that other stuff to crown the best ever fast food. Woo. We'll have to we'll have to get some sort of a, a bracket, a physical bracket that people can look at and see. We'll have a tally going, throw it up. Yeah, kind of something like, like that. I don't know, but something. In the you next guys couple, track of the shit. a lot of space for it up there. I think mm-hmm. that's why. Well, this one we got we got fries and burgers from two local joints, so there's possible you know thirty points right here. So by the end of today, we'll have somebody. We'll have a leader. We'll have a number one and a number two, right. and we'll just build off that. Cool. Woo. Sounds fun. So, what we got here, what we got here is, you know, two of the OGs of, you know, fast food. Uh, the Golden Arches. This year, standard cheeseburger, fries, versus DQ cheeseburger, fries. Um, you know, you guys can play along at home and give us your point value. You know, if you like either of those or don't like either of those. Because there's some weirdos out there that will only eat McDonald's, and I don't know who birthed you or where you came from. But, <laughs> yeah. So your taste buds might be completely different from ours. I mean, just from looks alone. Look, look, yeah, look what's going on here. Yeah, that was going to be my first uh, critique. Uh, you know. Is that uh, yeah, that McDonald's over cheeseburger there, that McDonald's. over there flatted in a plate full of piss. <laughs> So this being the first episode, another cool thing that uh, it actually I heard it on the radio. They were discussing their favorite all-American meal, which would be the cheeseburger, fries, and a shake. And they all gave their uh, where their favorite spot. It could be the same spot. It could be different spots. Uh, we would like to hear your comments down below of like what you got. Like wherever you live, all the criteria has to be it has a fast food window. So yeah. If you can, if you can eat food there through. without getting out of your car, it qualifies. There you go. So, uh, as we partake on these here um, substances, I'm not going to call them <laughs> delicious food. It's just filler. Uh, <laughs> You're we, burying the lead already. <laughs> we, we, we will give our, you know, lists of our favorite of all American meal. You know, that way, you get a sense of what our taste buds i guess you would say what our criteria is for mm-hmm. food and give us a chance for our opinions to influence your decisions some of them could be local some of them could be out of state i mean like mm-hmm. you travel around hey uh, these guys were talking about trying this place hit it up that, then, that, that might be the best reason to travel anywhere just to try right. different food absolutely first thing i do when i go to vegas is hit white castle Nice. It's not the greatest, but it is worth it every you know yeah, once a year. It's yeah. one. Of, it's one of those things. Like I don't like it, but when's the last time I had White Castle? When's the next time I'm hey, gonna have it? Speaking of that, you came from Texas, didn't you? So you know, uh, the mm-hmm. for is it for Zola's or something like that? It's it's a fast food, fucking uh, like pasta, like Italian place. It's huh. just, it's totally nuts, man. Like you don't get your you get your own silverware, napkins. Everything they just put it on the uh, up on like the front of the counter and you come and pick it up, like it definitely. But I recommend it, man. Like they take out the whole. I've never heard of that shit. I wish I'd have known about some Italian spaghetti buffet. That sounds fucking delicious. Oh yeah, it does. That sounds pretty much on point. Yeah, yeah, it's really cool, man. It was like 
and, and you go up and like you stand in line like you're at a fast food place but then like they just call your number out and you go up and you pick up a tray and it has like all your food on it and then they have person going around giving you free breadsticks and shit like that and hmm. like you grab your own utensils like <laughs> garçon all garçon. that different More stuff <laughs> you know like More breadsticks. It's, it's very it's very cool they have a drive through fuck yeah well if anybody <laughs> out there knows the real name of this place or can give us some clarification drop a pin bro cause I need to know about that yeah, I really yeah. need to know about that I'm What's pretty that? sure the fucking DoorDash charge would be astronomical mm, but, a private jet <laughs> right I mean hey, come on bro like FedEx or some oh. shit or something. I don't know. UPS. Yeah. You gotta it's meet. You, time, you need more drivers in other places so you can just meet no, at the border. No, we need less drivers here so I can go to work. <laughs> <laughs> well, the problem would be is if you guys have less drivers, that means Amazon would have more drivers. Yeah, we don't talk about them. Either way, are, are we starting this already? Yes. Or are you guys just? Yep. You guys just hungry? It. We're okay. hitting it. All right. Well. Uh, presentation wise, I'm just gonna go ahead and say that uh, Ronald loses this round. Yeah, that's a fact. Um, what the fuck is this? But these are the iconic fries of America. They taste some, pretty we good. Need some, we need some blue chew for these fries because honestly, uh, they stopped being the fries of America when they changed their oil and stuff. Because that's when the fries taste changed. Yep. I remember back in the day, we used to get fries there all the time because they were so good. But it was they're just... fried in lard. Now they're cooked in peanut yep. oil. Yep. Because of vegans. These aren't even the best McDonald's fries that I've had. No, yeah. These they're are under, they're undersalted. These are, I mean, they're slightly, uh... Yeah. And, I mean, I was here for, what, 15 minutes before you guys got No, here, that, so. that, that, that doesn't... That's really not that big of an issue. Temperature should not affect the flavor of your food that much. Mm-hmm. But, no, yeah, you're right. They are... There's almost no salt. But yeah, there's almost little. no salt. Just the fries themselves just look better from Dairy Queen. They're not cooked long enough. Mm. Yeah. Taste wise, they actually taste like potatoes. Yeah. Exactly was going to be my next point. They actually taste like a potato. Yeah, Dairy Queen definitely better, better looking, better tasting. Yep. That presentation though, that little cup. Yeah, the little the little box. Yeah, Dairy Queen wins on the fries. Yes. You're not going to drop this ain't going to slide off into the cubby between your seats. Where I can like, put that in the cup holder of my truck and be. It's not going to just fall over and spill your fucking fries everywhere neither, like that little shitty ass bag. Or you can even put a little bit. There of ain't even like a over the yeah. corner and stuff, man. Yeah, where do most of the McDonald's exactly. fries go anyway? Right. Right. You hear that genius seat. idea? <laughs> you could scoot those fries over to one side, put all your sauce you in the corner of that little truck, bro. Uh huh. Fucking genius. Yep. See what they're doing there? Yep. See? Smart. That's why you gotta rely on stoners for shit, because we come up with amazing ideas. I'm pretty sure right. it was a stoner that thought of the whole uh, the little holder man. inside of the the back of the thing that uh, the fry thing at Burger King. Oh yeah, when you, you get the chicken up. fries, you open up the thing. It's got the little cubby in the back of it. Oh, oh, yeah. A stoner thought of that shit. Well, yeah, cool. I didn't even Who think of that. The idea little... for the blizzard. It had to have been a stoner. <laughs> Let's no, make a, a really thick it milkshake, man. It was a man. stoner that was like, "Oh my god, this ice cream's so thick, you can hold it upside down, bro. It doesn't <laughs> fall out." Wait, wait, wait. Let me thicken it up more by crushing up a butterfee here, bro. Right. Yeah. Yeah, man. It's a fucking gummy bears I'm gonna put a whole piece of cheesecake in here <laughs> <laughs> bro my mind's blown presentation why can somebody out there explain to me some one of you McDonald's people why is it that McDonald's always manages to get onions on top of my fucking burger <laughs> it's cause they use them little diced up onions they get no, fucking everywhere it should just explode no, bro, it has to be bro every single time without fail this is the only place this happens at every time Wait, I order something from McDonald's <laughs> <laughs> fucking onions on top of the burger. It's the only place it happens at. He's right. You want to know why? Because they lay the bun on top while they're building it, mm -hmm. and they put that onion, and it falls on the bottom, and then, like, when they wrap it up, mm. the onions end up on top of the bun. Well, that from someone who theory. also worked in, in those same fast food kitchens, mm. you guys are dumbasses. You put the liquid ingredients on top, the ketchup and the mustard and shit first, then you throw the onions on there. You let the ketchup and the mustard hold the onions in place so I don't end up with shit all over the top of my burger. You fuck. If you want $15 an hour, you better not get onions on top of my goddamn bread. <laughs> Presentation-wise, you're failing, because I don't know how the fuck you get onions on top of the bread. It's supposed to go inside the sandwich. And it's flatter than fuck. Like, Move faster! Oh, it's super flat, man. Mine's kind of like the whole top part's all over to the left. God. Oh, yeah, like, <laughs> that was the other thing. Yeah. Is like a, this is that Miley this came Cyrus ass cheese. All in one bag with the burgers on the bottom of the fries, all the burgers on top of each other. Like you can see the imprint on the top of the bun from the Another other burger. burger. 
That's amazing. Oh, yeah. They're cutting I'm costs, I'm looking man. at that DQ burger. It's still full sitting over there. Yeah, like, man. Right? I think I'm moving on from this. Two seats. Let me give it another, another bite here. I think the other thing that, that the only thing that Mickey D's has going for it is the nostalgia of growing up eating Mickey D's. Yeah. Mm-hmm. They need to bring back the two burgers, two fries. Literally two eating this, that's how I feel. I feel nostalgic. Mm -hmm. Like it yep. brings me back to being a kid. This is the same disappointment from when I was ten. <laughs> <laughs> when cheeseburgers used to be like twenty nine cents on Tuesdays. Yeah, thirty nine thirty nine cents on Wednesdays, mm. forty nine cents on Sundays. Oh, that was stoner heaven. Fuck oh yeah. man. My parents loved that deal. They used to go and they used to get cheeseburgers for the whole six person family, you mm -hmm. know? Oh yeah. <laughs> Yeah, my grandma used to go and buy them back in like the 80s and, or 70s or whenever, way back in the day when my mom's was a kid, and she would buy a ton of them and freeze them when they're on sale like that <laughs> and bust them out. You got some cheeseburgers? Like, <laughs> That's some hood-ass shit. Come on, grandma, what are you doing? That is some hood-ass shit. Like, right? If, I, if she ever did that when I was alive, I would have just, no, we're not doing this. Like, you crazy. <laughs> that's, that's fucking horrible. Bun's all got that freezer uh, freezer burn on it. Right. We're going to eat these this weekend. You just freeze bad. the whole thing together? Like <laughs> That was probably back in the day when they are making it out of real ingredients because fake ingredients didn't exist yet. Johnny, I put some cheeseburgers <laughs> out for you. What if, what if the, remember the picture from the internet that shows McDonald's doesn't get old? Yeah. What if that shit came out of your parents or out of your grandparents' freezer? No, it might have. Bro. Yeah, you can't. It might have. They're, yeah, they banned. Was it Iceland? Iceland. Yeah. Yeah, that guy did that experiment on it, and like, the meal is over a decade old, and it, everything still looks like it just was just bought. Yeah, that's of course gross. he sealed it. There's no air going to it, so. But somebody did a a thing putting a cheeseburger in a sulfuric acid, and it took like four hours Ooh. for it to actually disintegrate. Sulfuric acid—that's that's, that's, that's the shit that you pour and like melts your skin off, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Whoa. It's, it's stronger than your stomach acid, but you know, imagine that this whole thing can run into your stomach acid. That's uh, why when you take a shit after eating McDonald's, it smells like McDonald's. <laughs> <laughs> <It's> just, <it's, laughs> why are you sitting there getting the smell profile of your own shit? You don't never smell your shit when you take a shit. I try not to. Yeah. Because he wants to guess other people. Oh people's no, we're stupid shit. here. Right? <laughs> what is that? Uh, I'll, crack, that I'll crack a window and light a cigarette in the bathroom. Yeah, I don't that. Fuck. You gotta embrace your own brand, son. Nah, bro, my beef strong, bro. <laughs> I'm doing all that. He's working on the smell scale. <laughs> right? <laughs> all right. In case you guys have noticed, our official our official drink of choice, it is not a sponsor. It's just what we love. We it's would not, love. It's not, it's not part of this taste test. But yes. It, we would love a sponsorship out here in the Northwest. It's really hard to come by. That's mm -hmm. a fact. We yep. could, we could, we'd gladly rep for you guys. Yeah. We're I've, been very flexing all, I've been flexing all the time. We'll even put the labels out. Shit. So we need y'all to come through in the clutch. More flavors out here, please. Yeah, a whole bunch of them. All the Arctic suns and all the moon mistresses. We need all of them. These have more flavor than these fries from McDonald's. That's for <laughs> sure. Look. Like, I was hungry before I got here. I don't even want to fucking eat those fries. That's how nasty but look, they are. This is a, this is a burger. Well, yeah, Not a this squished. is an actual burger, and it's... Oh, yeah. Hey, hey, hey. Oh, it's like cooked meat. Hey, it know. smells. There's no onions on the bun. Yeah. It, what it even concept. smells like meat. It's good. Yeah. Is the actual thick cut pickle in there? So okay. much more filling. Do I even have to eat this to tell you that Dairy Queen has won this fucking round? Yep. The only reason that you guys eat McDonald's mm -hmm. is because you remember it as a kid. And you have all those great memories of Grimace and the Hamburglar and playing <laughs> in the play place and all that shit. Get over it, bro. There's a million different burgers better than McDonald's. McDonald's is fucking cancer food. That tastes we like we just it all grilled. got cancer for your fucking entertainment because McDonald's has to be on the list. This tastes like a seasoned grilled cheese. Like you don't even taste the meat. Where all this right. tastes like, like a burger. Like somebody, an amateur was cooking in his backyard. Mm -hmm. I think it's time to leave the elite red clown, red shoe clown alone. Delete. Delete. Yep. Delete. Oh. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, DQ won bigly for sure. <laughs> bigly. <laughs> bigly. <laughs> won very, very bigly. It was huge. Huge victory. We don't need we don't need to rely on Pennsylvania and Georgia to count the votes. We know the Dairy Queen is the winner. It's very delicious. Talk to Dairy and the Queen. They both say 
that is very delicious and a very, uh, very uh, substantial victory over McDonald's. And um, yes, we're going to build a wall around all McDonald's so that no one can get out or get in. New, new campaign so that you can make Dairy Queen great again. <laughs> no, make McDonald's great again. <laughs> no, let McDonald's die. <laughs> I mean, they're killing us, so why not let them just... Yeah, pretty much. And the reason I'm fat is because of McDonald's. Uh, it has nothing to do with my own personal choices. It has nothing to do with the like fact that. I don't never work out, not once, ever. I worked out one time. It's on my Instagram. <laughs> 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 I, made it, I made it like a whole hour and a half, bro. I felt so good. Yeah. And then I sat down at the end of that hour and a half. You felt so bad? Felt so horrible. <laughs> And then I woke up the next day and felt even more horrible. I was like, no, nah, I'm not going to go through a week's worth of pain for one day of glory. Fuck Instagram. <laughs> so speaking of out. personal uh, preferences, since we're running over time, Richard, all-American mm. meal. All-American meal. Oh, uh, junior bacon cheeseburger, uh, the blue raspberry slush from Sonic. Cheeseburger uh, from where? Hmm? Wendy's? Wendy's, yes. Okay, like you didn't say Wendy's junior bacon cheeseburger. You didn't throw the name out there. Uh, I slipped my mind. Anyhow, uh, and as far (laughs) as fries, fries would be uh, like Big Tom's fries for sure. Never heard of Big Tom's. Those who don't know it, it's a local, local place here in Ole. Great food. Mm -hmm. Well played. Well played. Yeah. Breakfast donut. Oh yeah. The glazed and confused. I need more information about this. You're talking all kinds of sexy shit. Oh, about dude. And all that. They're glazed and confused. It's a uh, Krispy Kreme cut in half and then grilled on the, the <laughs> soft side on a nice flat iron okay, grill bro. with a, uh, either sausage, ham, bacon, uh, cheese, and an egg. Okay, now I'm going to go <laughs> masturbate. Um, okay. Got the segment so up, guys. My, we got to get out of here. And they got tater tots with gravy on the side. Oh, my God. <laughs> That's... Where's this fucking app? It's Big Tom's. Oh, man, my like right God. Why the fuck haven't you guys told us about this? <laughs> right. I well, guess. you guys have frugals up fuck. there. So frugals I mean, ain't shit. I was going to mention oh, frugals for their fries, but now fuck that. I want some yeah, just Big, Big Tom, Tom shit. Yeah. What the? Dude. <laughs> Where the hell is Big Tom at? Okay, I'm boycotting the fast food wars <laughs> until we get Uncle Tom's or Big Tom's or whoever's in here. <laughs> Big Uncle Tom. Uncle Big Uncle Big Tom. Tom. <laughs> yeah, we need that. <laughs> Big Uncle, Uncle Rob is gone. <laughs> yeah, Rob ain't coming back. Yeah, uh, unfortunately, we got heat and we got good heat. Yeah, we'll save that for another episode. Right. We're running long. We'll talk uh, about it earlier in the week. Yeah, right. <laughs> so my all-American meal, I would have to go with the superstar cheeseburger from uh, Carl's Jr. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and mention Frisco Freeze, even though they've just been murdered, in my opinion, by Shane and this Big Tom's or whatever. Mm-hmm. Frisco Freeze for the fucking, for the french fries. Wendy's at a very close fucking second. And for a shake, I am worldly and I've traveled this country. Steak and shake, bro. Mm. Cannot go wrong. It's in the Granted, name. you gotta wait 20 fucking minutes for it. You might as well go inside instead of using the drive through But That's steak and shake. Yeah, I'll you? go, uh, I'm gonna do uh, Jack in the Box for the fries. That one's pretty easy because they're killing it in the fry game right now to me. Uh... Dude, Burger, those new, those new loaded fries that they have. No, oh, they're pretty the ridiculous. Jack ones. I haven't oh had those. Oh my god, ones yet. those were so good. Mini I'm gonna have to check those out. The mini tacos are ridiculous. The Jack in the Box is pretty cool. They're all right, but uh, for the burger, I would have to go with uh, best burger, the double deluxe with bacon. That shit is off the hook, and uh, milkshake. That's tough for me. Um, I'm gonna have to stay with best burger on that one too, man. Best burger from Liquid's killing it. Oh yeah, I'm gonna have to check that out. Yeah, it's off the hook. They got the blackberry milkshake as a regular menu item. It ain't no special, nothing. That's just right there on there. Like, what the fuck? You got a blackberry milkshake? Right. Mm. So, burger for me, it would have to be Frugal's, which is another local establishment. I mean, we don't have one here in town, but there's one up in Sixth Ave in Tacoma, baby. T Town. And like everywhere else except for Olympia. No, the best one's in Tacoma. It's right there off 512. Yeah. Yeah, over by where uh, Fox Pacific, yep. Foxes mm-hmm. used to be. Yeah, that's, yeah. yeah. Frugal's is the shit, too. The line's just too You know it's good if it's a, a burger joint in the parking lot of Frugal? a strip club. Didn't you say Frugal's? Yeah. Yeah. You, I thought you said Frisco Freeze at first. That's mm-hmm. when you said 512. I'm like, I ain't no Frisco Freeze. No. That's, that's why I was Frugal's. confused as shit when you started talking about it. I was like, where? Their mushroom Frugal's Swiss at? burger. <laughs> mm, bacon on it. Bomb. Yeah. Uh, fries. Wendy's and Jack in the Box are like, 
neck yeah. and neck, man. But Jack in the Box goes over the top because they have curly fries and regular fries, and now you can get them loaded with cheese well, and jalapenos. Yeah. And you can get half and half fries. Yep, 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 half yep. and half fries. And their large fries, like, this big, dude, like, the whole fucking... Their small drink is like that. Yeah. <laughs> and you can sub lunch. out the bacon potato wedges for a medium fry and get all that shit on a medium curly fry. Oh, no. Oh, no. You're a fat fuck. You know that? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You are fat. Yeah. Yep. You are fucking fat. This was his segment idea, by yeah. the way. Yeah. <laughs> Clearly. Shit. Right. Right. Who's the fat his pothead name. in this group? It obviously ain't me. No, it ain't me neither. Because I don't come up with none of this shit. Uh, and lastly, for the shakes, I got to go with Big Tom's, man. Big Tom's shakes are bomb. They, yeah. they have a blackberry shake, so. So let's do Big Tom's next week. So next week, we'll be going to Big Tom's, <laughs> and Big Tom's shakes, we're bringing all the boys to the yard. Woo! Yeah. Hell yeah. Till next time. Enjoy. Peace. Hell yeah. Thank you guys.